Hey everyone, it's Kirsten, and today we are 13 days out from our race in Kona. Um, how exciting, right? So, um, I quickly wanted to, a lot of people have been asking me what I use for training as far as do I use a coach, do I use a specific training plan? And um, so I wanted to share what I do. It, um, I've spent the last 10 or whatever since 2000, 2000, 2000. So the last 14 years, just doing different things, seeing what works best for me. I've had coaches, I've followed written training plans that um, just people had made out online or in books. And um, what I, and I've just taken what I've learned about myself and from training, and I was also a USAT certified um, triathlon level one and level two coach, so I learned a lot about coaching there. And um, what I do currently, um, and before I say this, I recommend definitely if you're starting off, if you don't really like planning or organizing, if you um, want to get faster, if you want to get better, if you want to increase distances or, or speeds or performance, then I would definitely recommend getting a coach um, because that's the best way to get results because they'll work with you individually and, and figure out what you want. But I, I'm, I suck as a client because I don't like um, to do what people tell me to do because I'm, I'm a rebel like that. Um, but anyway, no, I had a coach for a while. It was really helpful. Um, but what I've been doing the last couple of years is I set a goal per month of the volume I want to get in. And I increase it each month, about three months out from the race. Um, before that, I kind of do what I feel like doing because I don't want to get burned out before the race. Um, so I just kind of swim, bike, and run um, when I feel like it um, until about three months before the race. And then I start getting a little more structured, but not, not a lot of structure like I used to. And I make sure that, <coughs> sorry, I make sure my biking and my running are balanced for the Ironman distances because I used to not bike hardly at all, but I didn't realize it because, you know, I bike two and three hours and that's a lot of biking. But when I compared it to how much I was swimming and running, I was maybe getting in in a month, like three Ironman distance bikes and like five Ironman distance runs and like 20 Ironman distance swims. So I started balancing it out a little better between the bike and the run. I still swim a lot more than I need to. Um, a, because I love it and it's my meditation, my relaxation, and it brings me immense joy and it keeps me from wanting to kill people. But also because um, I actually have been working a lot less the last few years. And um, so I can't afford to get a massage and chiropractor every week like I used to. So I use swimming as my recovery and it's kept me uh, injury free the last couple years. So I swim a lot um, of easy swims, of long, easy swims, of um, paddles and fins and drills and breaststroke because that counteracts my running and biking muscles in my legs. So, um, so I still do a lot more swimming than I, than, so my swimming's not balanced, but that's fine. I have a reason for doing that, but my running and biking, I keep more balanced. So if my goal is to do four Ironman bikes that month, I need to do four Ironman runs. If my goal is to do six Ironman runs that month, I need to do six Ironman bikes. So I keep my biking and my running more balanced. Um, I like to divide it by weeks, but that doesn't always work because my schedule is very, um, it, it changes all the time, it's an, it's very irregular, and I travel a lot. So some weeks I get in less, some weeks I get in more, so that's why I do the overall month thing. Um, the one thing I do make sure is every day I do something that's a little challenging, whether it's a timed 100 in the pool, or a 20 steps, you know, as fast as I can run during my long run or, you know, something that's a little bit of a challenge. And then once a week I do one workout that's a big challenge. And for me, that's usually a race because I love racing. It gives me immediate feedback. Um, I like racing on really tired legs, so I don't taper for my races. I maybe go a little easier on the day before and then do extra swimming on the day after for recovery. Um, but basically I just do one either mentally or physically hard workout a week. So for example, um, a couple weeks ago I did a marathon. So something like that. The other thing I like doing is, is some long distance stuff. So training for this race, 
Um, I did a 10K swim last month, which was amazing I loved it um, I, I have a video race report on it so if you want to hear about that let me know um, I did a 120 mile um, really hard bike ride called the triple bypass which is three big mountain passes in Colorado um, and that was really fun for me that was two months ago and then in the last three months um, June July August, no the last four months sorry the last four months I've done six marathons um, and again, I just like to do some longer distance stuff. So that's not saying it's for everyone at all. And I'm really careful, you know, making sure that I'm doing lots of recovery stuff as far as my nutrition and um, physically with my body, like those long swims, um, so that I don't overtrain or get injured. So um, anyway, that's kind of the basic of my training plan. And it works for me. I take a day off when I mentally do not want to do anything. If I physically don't want to, then I get started and usually want to because our bodies are like that. Um, but if I mentally just do not want to do a workout that day, I won't. Or I'll go for a long walk, like maybe a, you know, I've done like a 10 mile walk before um, just to do something and keep the blood flowing and stuff like that. So anyway, that is my general training plan. Um, and again, it's what works for me. It might not work for anyone else on the planet, but I've, I've, fine-tuned it over the last you know 10 15 years so that it really works for me and my schedule so anyway today I did a um, half marathon like I said I did awesome I, I felt really good really strong then I went to the gym just spun super easy on the bike for an hour just to make sure I'm not sore tomorrow and then I did a nice gentle swim a lot of fins to help my ankle flexibility um, my calves and my shins and then did a ton of breaststroke to stretch out my legs and so I ended up doing about 15 miles on the bike 3,000 yards in the pool um, and my 13.1 mile run I walked a couple miles after just to cool down and that is my workout for today I will see you guys tomorrow bye